The entire time I worked on this project, all I was thinking about was Art Attack. Do you remember that show? Please tell me you remember watching that show as a 90s kid. I loved it every day after school. We're doing paper mache today. <laughs> hey, I'm Janelle. This is to DIY for. So if you are new to my channel, um, I do new DIYs every single Wednesday. I'd love for you to subscribe. Check me out on Instagram. I do little sneak peeks there sometimes, but also it's just a great way to connect with me, get to know me, share your DIYs that you're making as well. I do a lot more personal stuff on there. So we are going to be redoing a pendant light for above our dining table. A few weeks ago, I completely refinished a dining set that I got off Facebook Marketplace, and it doesn't really go well with the pendant light that I DIY'd, oh, I don't know, months ago. Still love that one, but I'm probably just gonna move it into a different space in our apartment, and I wanted a more kind of sleek design. And when I saw this on Pinterest, I was like, oh, that's the one, that's what I have to have looked at the price tag and was like, nope, can't have it. <laughs> so I'm drawing inspiration from this pendant light uh, in order to kind of create this one. It's obviously not going to look anywhere near the same thing because it's not even made out of metal, but I'm trying to kind of replicate that. At least that's the, the inspiration. So let's get into it. So ideally for this project, I actually wanted one of those big, huge exercise balls. And I think that that would have given me a different shape, 100%. I don't own one of those. My neighbors own this one and they offered to let me borrow it. It's like a peanut shaped one. So that kind of changed the shape of this whole piece, but I'm still happy with how it turned out. So I wrapped the entire thing with a bunch of saran wrap so that none of this gets stuck to it. And we're just doing some paper mache. It's one part glue, one part water with a bunch of paper, magazine strips, whatever you have. I would say that I ended up mixing my um, glue water ratio a little bit more like two parts glue, one part water. I found it pretty wet when I did this first layer and it does take a really long time because you need to do around six to ten layers to make this thing sturdy. So that is why this project took so long because you need to also let it dry every time you do a layer. Here's how I ripped all of my paper with just a ruler and I just tore it simply like this. Um, they do say you should tear when you're paper mache as opposed to cut because it uh, makes the lines less visible apparently. Also make sure when you do your paper mache that you're going in opposite direction when you do each new layer of paper. So these were previously vertical, I'm going in horizontal and I found it a little bit cleaner to go in with the brush as opposed to just with my hands. So after all of the multiple layers and days of doing this, I'm sanding it all down and it was more rough than I thought that it would be. Maybe if I had used smaller pieces, I would have been able to get a smoother round surface, but I thought, you know what, I'll just sand it all off and it'll be nice and smooth and awesome. Boy, was I wrong. Was a pretty good feeling though to peel that piece off and kind of see the shape that I had here. So I've got my black paint here. It's a sample that I used to paint the table as well. And this is when I really started to sink in and go, oh my gosh, this looks like crap. It was horrible. Hopefully I'll be able to save it with kind of like a little bit of a different idea, but let's get into it. My vision wasn't coming together. I mean, look at this thing. It looks like a child made it. I want this to look higher and it looks like paper mache. I was so sad with how not smooth it was. The edges were kind of crumbling. So I'm going to cut this off, give it a bit of a new shape with some more wavy edges. I drilled the top, the hole in the top here for the wire for the pendant light. And I let this sit over the weekend and then I came up with this idea to use quick create. And this was kind of my last ditch effort. I said, if this doesn't work, this whole thing is getting tossed out. So quick create is really fine concrete. And um, I mixed it a little bit more liquidy than probably you would. And I just spread it all around here. I did this while it was on the ball so it would keep that nice firm shape. And this got very messy very quickly. However, this step drives really quickly, so I actually worked it in with my hands the entire time as it dried. And uh, towards the end, I kind of just used a uh, wooden stick to scrape off the sides to make sure that we had a flat edge, so none of it was dripping off. And look it, it's nice, it's a hard, beautiful shell that's nice and smooth, and I already think it looks so much better. So for the inside, I had always planned to do some fake gold leaf in here. 
So I put in a bunch of glue and I got these gold leaf sheets. It's just fake stuff off Amazon. It was very inexpensive. And I laid in all of those sheets very delicately and carefully. And then I took a dry uh, brush and kind of brushed everything off to get any of that loose stuff that wasn't glued down off of there. So this is an old makeup brush and I'm just using a little bit of black paint in here and I'm going to stipple it in. And the reason I did this is because the gold was just, whoa, in your face. And I wanted to give it a bit of a more antique kind of aged look and I really am happy with how that turned out. As for the other side, you could totally just leave it as like a concrete looking, um, a pendant which is kind of a cool industrial vibe itself but it doesn't really work for our space so I went in with again that black paint that I have been using uh, mixed it with some baking soda one part to one part for kind of a textured finish and then I simply just changed out the light so this is really easy to do. Um, all you have to do is make sure that you just turn off the breaker. You don't want to electrocute yourself by accident. But I just rehooked up the wires and hung this pendant light. And oh my gosh, I love it. Now, my sister told me it kind of looks like an eye. And my neighbor told me that it kind of looks like a whale. It looks different from every angle. As you see, I wrap and turn around here. And you know what? I kind of like the fact that it's this very organic shape. It's unusual. It looks different from every angle. It looks really cool when it's lit up. We have a very warm toned light bulb in there. So it gives off this beautiful golden glow. But I am really happy with how this turned out. I think it really made a huge difference adding the concrete to make this look more high-end. Let me know what you thought of the DIY though and I'll be back next week with a new one.